welcome back to the channel. Today we're going on another auction adventure to Hastings, Michigan. It's about 21 degrees outside, but luckily it's an indoor auction. I have my dad with me today. Hey, what's up guys? Hopefully he can help me out. And this auction has uh, trains and old vintage toys. And hopefully we can get a lot of stuff today. And we'll show you everything that's inside. Hopefully we, or we'll see you guys soon. Bye. <laughs> Bye guys. All right, guys, this is going to be a good one. Lots of uh, vintage airplane banks going on here. All still in the box. Like I said, I will tell you guys the heads up right now. I am not very knowledgeable when it comes to trains and all of this stuff. I'm just not. But I will do my best to uh, uh, try to get some good stuff today. I'm really looking forward to trying to steal a couple things, really, honestly. I've done a little bit of research. So I should be able to be able to get some, hopefully maybe get some good deals. But we'll see. Like I said, well, kind of new at this, uh, these trains and old vintage toys. But there's a lot of really cool stuff here today. As you guys can see, this place is packed with stuff. But there looks like some also, so actually some also some furniture and some antiques here. See, I'm a big football guy. See, these are mine right here. Look, I like those. Look at those. Oh, cool. Very cool. I'll be in on those, hopefully. <laughs> I say that, guys, but I really can't tell you how much stuff's going to go for today. I did a little bit of research on eBay, but again, this collection is kind of unheard of. I mean, this is tons of stuff still in boxes never opened so I mean this is going to be a it's going to be one of those auctions where I think a lot of the good stuff is going to go really high but I also think that uh, you're going to be able to get some deals because there's so much stuff the fact that there's so much stuff I think you're going to be able to get some some really good steals on some stuff, so we'll see. But look at these guys, these guys have never been opened. I mean, these still have the, still have the zip ties around them. They got the Budweiser Clydesdales, those are very popular, I know that. Oh, here it comes, oh, these are all big money guys. I know, I've seen these stuff before. John Deere is still in the box. Oh yeah, combines, guys, this stuff's gonna go crazy high. But look at these. These are all huge. I will say I'm a little out of place here, guys, because like I said, I just don't know enough about them. I'll probably end up being the guy that spends dumb money on some stuff today because <laughs> he just doesn't know what's uh, what's worth a lot and what's not. So, But it'll be fun. Look at these. These are so cool. If you like old toys, man, I tell you, this is your auction. I mean, this is awesome stuff. I mean, that one right here, guy still has the plastic on it. Still has the plastic on it. Like I said, I looked up a few of this stuff, so I do know, have a little bit of knowledge of what's going on here. But past that, just to sit here and give you guys random information, I don't think I'll be able to do that. What's that, honey? Okay, good. I know like that one right there, I know it's quite valuable if I remember right looking that one up. Mickey Mouse ones. I mean I'm sure there's every single one you can get here. A bunch of old uh, train set magazines. Oh, this is cool. Look at that guys. Budweiser, Clydesdale. That's really cool. Those old shower shower bottles. Remember those? And luckily, guys, this is an indoor auction, so I am just warm as can be. No layers today. Oh, look at these Lionel trains still in the boxes. Very cool.
And guys, this is probably the lower end stuff. The higher end stuff's gonna be right up front here, and I'll head up there next. How oh, cool! We got some really cool butter, some beer signs here, and these are all vintage. Nice clocks. All right, we're gonna head up front here. These American Flyer ones, I like those up. Those are gonna go big money, and it looks like they're gonna start off with these guys. Really cool bud with our John Deere tractor and wet. I'm sorry, tractor. I'm sorry, John Deere wagon. There's a nice little tractor. Yeah, guys, I see like these ones right here. This is. Those are big money. Oh, cool. Excuse me, sir. Yep, hope you guys can educate me in the comment section about some of this stuff because. I don't exactly know a ton about it, so we're going to try to, I'll get back to all this stuff over here guys, I just want to kind of stay in the same lane so I don't forget what I record and don't record. Looks like a scrapbook. Oh, it's old railroad advertisement scrapbook, that's cool. But like ones like that, I know that's another one that's worth some good money. Oh, more football ones. All I care about is the football, I really don't care about the trains or nothing, so... But that Coast Guard one's another one. I think it's a couple hundred dollars. Same as this Harley Davidson, but there's three of them. There's literally three of them still wrapped. That's another one right there. Worth some good money. All right, so let's head back to the next little stamp collection here. Mm, a little bit. K-Line electric trains, guys, this is cool. A little railroad sign. Very, very cool stuff. But you know what I see here? I see a lot of people with pads of paper and pens. And that usually tells me they're writing stuff down to bit a really high mana. <laughs> Listen, we'll see. I'm hoping I get a bunch of stuff today to show you guys, because I think this stuff's pretty cool. But this is what I like to call an eBay auction, because very little of this stuff if I do get it will end up going into the shop anyway most of this stuff's going to go to eBay because we sell a little bit of it but not enough to not enough to hold on to it for a long time to sell it so all right Beautiful farm all pedal tractor. Now I'm gonna put the what I sold for, but I'm guessing that's gonna go for probably two, three hundred bucks. So let's see how good my let's see how good my guesses are. <laughs> nice signs there. Yeah, this is cool stuff. Cuckoo clock. We got that last cuckoo clock at our last auction. We did really good with it, and so we're hoping maybe we get a little bit of those as well. So a bunch of Bunch of price guide books that don't matter much anymore because eBay took care of that. That's nothing. Nice clocks, and then here, guys, this is some different kind of antique stuff. That I don't know if all this stuff's going or not. Yeah, maybe this stuff ain't going. Oh, never mind. This is not. I don't think this stuff's going today. No, if it doesn't, I apologize. But. This was the one I took off of the bed, so I wonder if that's it. I should go look at that. Where are you but there is a oil, gas and oil auction coming up, guys, and I'm guessing that's what this stuff is. Oh, yeah. This is going to be that gas and oil auction in two weeks. I'll be here again for that auction. That's where that's coming from. But I think that's about it, guys. Like I said, a lot of trains, a lot of tractors, a lot of old stuff. So we'll see. All right, guys. Hopefully we come out of here with a haul, and we'll let you know what we get at the end. All right. Talk to you guys soon. Bye. Hey, what's going on, guys? Um, as you can tell, I am driving home. Uh, this auction was the dreaded 
collectors versus resellers auction. And I will tell you this, the collectors won very, very much today. Um, as you guys can see in the prices I put up on uh, Stroll Through, uh, stuff was going really, really high. Um, even compared to what I could sell it for, uh, they were going for pretty much what I would sell them for, which is pretty much telling me there's a whole lot of collectors there, which is okay. Like I said, it's not a big deal. We, um, I love going to these auctions just to see the stuff and see a collection like that's one of a kind. So, um, so we didn't get anything today, but uh, it's okay. We are um, on to the next auction like we always are. So again, thank you guys all for watching the video. Um, comment below if you guys see anything there you like, and you better like trains because I'm sure that's the only comments I'll get is the train collectors because there was a lot of cool ones there. But um, And of course, uh, if you guys want to subscribe to the channel, uh, we got our new series, Collecting 101, coming out this Tuesday. So I'm excited for that one. And um, yeah, if you guys get some time, man, come out and see me at 66 Unique Antiques, and you guys can get your antique fix on M66. See you guys later.